Yeah, good, good, good night tonight. A lot of guys certainly got to playing and were productive. Um, I thought Augusta did a nice job at the beginning of the game and ran their stuff with really good speed and and uh, probably are a little quicker and uh, than we thought. And then obviously, you know, you don't know quite as much about them uh, in these early games. So had us on our heels a little bit, but we readjusted nicely and and. Uh, you know, played a really good last 30 minutes of the game. So, uh, again, happy for our guys to – a lot of guys to be able to get in and and uh, have a couple productive things happen for them. So, questions for me? Something like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it will be that every night, but certainly we want him to stay aggressive. Um you know, I, I, he has practiced better the last week or two. Um, I think there was a stretch there when I've, I've been a little upset with him because I think he can do more and he needs to do more. And, um, you know, I, I just want him to affect the game more than just the, the shots. And he got a couple – hands on a couple balls. He got a couple rebounds. Got a nice tip in on offense. Um, but, yeah, he's he's a guy that can make a shot. He can drive the ball to the basket. He's He's got a lot of, you know, basketball skill. And we've been talking about that for a long time with him. So, that, you know, obviously I'm not surprised that he had a game like he did today. And we'll need a lot more of those this year. How do you feel like all your new guys, along with your older guys, under Mark Jelling? Jelling. Um, we're doing okay. Um, you know, still stops and starts. Tonight was good. We had to deal with a lot of different things. They pressed us a couple different ways. We, we saw some zone. We saw some man-to-man you know, different levels of pickup. So, uh, you know, it was good for us to play against all those different things. And then we played a lot of different people, um, and we, we did that in the scrimmage as well just to try to get guys some experience, see what they actually do in a game. Um, and then, you know, we're still trying to figure out mix and match lineups sometimes. Um, but all in all, I mean, great attitudes. Guys are being coachable and – uh, the guys all get along, like each other, and and you know now we've just got to continue to work to to get used to the system. We're still not all the way there. Um, it's going to be a work in progress for a while, but um, we're off to a pretty good start. How about what you saw from Kristen Reed? I mean, when he draws, you yeah, know, he's good. yeah, he's yeah. I, you know, he had a really good stretch. I didn't think his stri- first half stretch was very good. He looked, at, you know, he just he's still a little finding his way. Um, but then he had a nice little five, six minute stretch there in the second half. I thought guys found him. Certainly his size was a factor. Um, he finished some baskets around the around the rim, which was good. Um, yeah, just, you know, I thought he did some nice things. I'm happy for him because he's been working at it. And, um, you know, he just needs to continue to build his confidence. And, and uh, you know, I was glad to see him get rebounds too. It wasn't just a couple of baskets, but it was, he was on the glass. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yes, um, I'm hopeful that, you know, we have some rhythm at some point, uh, again, guys have to play their way into that. We're still trying to fit pieces together and, and, you know, give guys some experience. Um, but we're going to try to play a few more guys and play a little faster and pick up the tempo a little bit. So, um, I think that helps us. I do think there was a little stretch there at the end of the second half, middle middle to end of the second half where we kind of pulled away where they were a little worn down. Just it was, you know, uh, good pace for a while and then all of a sudden we had a little a little streak there where we pulled away and some of it was, you know, playing out in transition. We talked Monday about just forcing an issue on defense, creating turnovers, 12 seals tonight. Just what was your assessment that the defensive performance on that side? Um, yeah, some good, some things we still need to work on. They did some – you know, different kinds of things, more interior screening than some teams these days. Um, it was a little more old school like us in that they were they were around the rim posting the ball and doing different things. Um, that was completely opposite of what we dealt with with Vanderbilt. Um, so that was good for us. Obviously, there's still some things we need to clean up and, you know, plenty of mistakes that, that we're making. But at the same time, I do think our activity level was good. Um, Guys were aggressive, and and uh, we did a pretty good job guarding the three. We didn't foul at all in the first half. 
Um, those are improvements. And then, uh, again, we, we got our hands on balls. Asa Thomas played a lot. I mean, is hmm. he someone that's improved? Yeah. Yeah, just trying to figure out, you know, first time he's played in a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he I think he plays with nice confidence on offense. Made a couple of nice shots today. Um, did, did a good job against the press inbounding the ball. Um, yeah, he was he was he was solid and, uh, you know, good to see. He's trying really hard. And uh, he and Jake are two guys that we think can help our team. Um, and they're both kind of just finding their way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a guy that can score the ball, you know, especially 16 feet and in. I mean, he can drive it, he can hook it in with both hands. He's um, he's actually a guy that can step out and make a three. Um, you know, he, he's right now he's one of those guys, post player off the bench that can do a couple couple different things for your team and, and uh, an older guy. So I think he, you know, has poise to score. Um, it's good to see him make a couple there in the second half. He, I thought he played well. He's, you know, he had a little couple of weeks there. He wasn't practicing as well, um, but he really practiced well the last two days, really well, probably two of his better practices. And it's funny, I just told him that leading into the game that, hey, man, you're practicing better. Like, I'm hoping that you're getting a little better feel and then, Obviously, comes out in the game and it, it it's good, and uh, so you know there's carryover, which is what we're looking for. Dell Jones found a way to really find comfort in that full court pressure assignment. Is that a way maybe he could? Yeah, the yeah, team? absolutely. He's going to be up on the ball. He's going to work the ball. You know, he's he's an energy guy. He gives your team energy. He's just you know there's there's something about that when some guys play, there's they just kind of play. But he's a guy that gives energy. The ball has energy with him. He gives your team defensively energy because the guys are looking and he's up there guarding the ball hard and their guys behind it energizes you a little bit. He didn't have as good an offensive game today um, in terms of shot making, but I thought he affected the game with his defense, especially in the first half. How would you feel about how Chase and Zachary played together? Um, yeah, good. I think Chase was you know, a little slow getting started, especially defensively. Um, but then as the game wore on, he just you know, he looked like an older player that – was playing at a you know nice pace and picking his spots and he wasn't you know trying to force the issue he was getting his teammates baskets he made two at least one or two really good interior passes I know one to Christian um, so yeah he, he played with great poise and and I thought he was extremely efficient and you know he's shooting the ball very well he's been he's worked really hard on it the last two years um, and he's shooting the ball very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of the. Uh, it'll it'll take some time for those guys to just get used to playing together all the time. Um, you know, Jaden's just a different player than Joe. Um, and all you know, Jaden's. Uh, I mean, super competitive, just like Joe, but he's he's you know he's not the the knockdown shooter, and he's not looking to run around off screens and do all that. He's going to knock some shots down. Um, but he's got the ball in his hands, maybe driving the ball a little bit and creating, and he and Chase playing together that way. Um, I think they're going to be fine together. I think they're going to be good. Yeah, I thought Victor was solid. You know, he uh, he's he's more experienced certainly than Christian. Um, so there, his communication is an unsubtle th is a excuse is a subtle thing that he does that is really important, especially on the defensive end. His just communication, calling out ball screen coverages and, you know, different things that he sees from his position, I think he's very comfortable with that. And uh, he's still learning how we do things. We do things a little bit differently in certain situations. So um, there are times that that's a problem, but he's done a nice job. And uh, I thought he was very solid again today. Not quite the crowd you get for a regular season home game. What do you, how excited are you for little John to be full? Yeah. I mean, I would have liked to have seen a little better turnout tonight, but, uh, you know, hopefully everybody's waiting until a big win on Saturday. And then Monday, when the season starts, Monday and Friday, we'll get we'll get a, a little bigger turnout. But, uh, yeah, we're excited about it. Obviously, this is a great place to play. Um, our crowd is, is terrific. They they've, The last two years especially, they've been fantastic, and they really help us. Um, and we're going to need it. Our team's going to need it. We're – 
we're still a work in progress. We're, we're a team that is finding its way, and, and really we have so many new players that we would love for them to see little John on a, on a really good night um, next week. And, and those guys get a lot of juice from the crowd. Yeah. It's so great to see your guys playing teams in a different jersey. Yeah. And we obviously got to see a little bit of a sneak peek of your depth of your bench. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me from your perspective, what did you see from them? Yeah, I liked what I saw. Um, you know, Augusta is, is very well coached. Dip does a great job. It's one of the reasons why we played them. They, they make the D2 tournament almost every year, and uh, that guard's a really good player uh, for them. So – and they run good stuff, so we had to guard different things. We had to play against a bunch of different things of zone, press, man. Um, so that was good for us to have to deal with all that. And I thought our guys handled it well. Um, I thought we were active defensively. We created 20 turnovers. You know, we had uh, we only turned it over 10 times, pretty high possession game. And we had a lot of guys get to play and – Guys off the bench who who needed to make a few baskets did so everybody leaves kind of with a smile on their face and tomorrow's an off day and then we'll we'll work really hard Friday Saturday Sunday to get ready for Monday. Anybody on Zoom have anything for Coach? Hey Brad, uh, early commentators start two weeks from today and there's no longer the national weather service. Uh, what what does it mean to you guys? I mean, is it more paperwork for you? What are they going to sign? How's the coach down there? Yeah, I, you know, I have to get all the clarification on it. Um, I think it's still scholarship papers, so it may be less. It may be that they're not signing two things. They're just signing one now. Um, so it, do, it really doesn't change much for us, um, and we're still approaching it where we're trying to sign multiple high school kids um, that we think can be really good players in our program, you know, uh, and kind of build our, our culture through our freshmen and then add add a couple pieces as we need. Uh, boy, that's a great question. I haven't thought about it. I don't know that we've talked about it a lot. I like it from the standpoint of, and I think some kids like it because kids at this level have been recruited – most of them have been recruited since their sophomore year, and so it's kind of a way for them to get it over with and kind of get behind it and enjoy their senior year. Obviously, for us, it gives us direction moving forward um, so we know who we have already and can you know, plan accordingly as much as you can. And in this day and age when it's hard to plan, to be able to, to know who you have you know, coming uh, a little bit year in advance or six months in advance is a good thing. So, yes, I, I like the early signing period. And, and just, just one more question, please. Uh, the Baker District this year notes no letter of intent, uh, but that could be blown up again because of the house settlement. How, how concerned are you that this is going to be a never-ending cycle, something that needs to be changed, and, and you're going to have to keep up with yeah. it and take it on and, and make a fourth-year call settling in a different direction? Um. Well, I'm not trying to see it that negative. Uh, I'm trying to be positive about it. And to be honest with you, the administration here at Clemson does a terrific job of, of keeping us in, abreast of what's going on. Um, you know, Graham meets with the head coaches here every month, and we have, you know, significant dialogue regarding most of this stuff. Um, you know, in compliance, Amanda is right on, on point with all of this, and so she's in communication with us as well. And uh, so, you know, I, I don't feel like we're ever surprised. I think we have, you know, good working knowledge of what's going on. But, yes, we have to be nimble and ready to adapt just like everybody else. You're welcome. Anything else for Coach? Okay. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate that.